Good morning, people. Happy weekend. I am here packed in because it's very cold today once again. Well, I have been sitting here recording the past three daily readings. And now we have reached the weekend. <laughs> and I channeled in your energy. And first of all, um, I had this like lion spirit guide come true. So I don't know if you have a lion spirit guide. Or if it's a new spirit guide coming coming true, but it was very strong. And I really feel it's because of you're stepping into your power. You have been prepared for this energy for a long time, for the past weeks, for the past days. Yeah, like lion. Remember your royalty. Remember your your rawness. <laughs> Does that make sense? I feel that you are going to be honored today in one way or another because of your soul's journey this could be that you're being honored in one way or another by someone else it could be a, a group of people but it could also be by a spirit guide so it might be spiritual energy spiritual energy is the invisible energy we spoke about that some, that some days ago so be open to this again it doesn't mean that you need to have like wake up with a sign uh, saying you did a good job <laughs> it will come to you in one way or another yeah maybe there is something about a billboard or something about a numbers plate like a, yeah a message but you will be honored today in one way or another and there was a spirit guide the lion spirit guide very royal very yeah it's very beautiful energy the next thing i wrote was be true to who you are don't bury yourself under other people's um project projected <laughs> Can I speak? Projected beliefs or insecurities. No. Just because someone else doesn't believe in themselves doesn't mean that you just need to believe in yourself, if that makes sense. Sometimes, I know that you have experienced this in the past. You talk with people and it might be a very good friend and you like, you know, you start talking about your dreams and desires and what you want to do, how you want to create things. And then this other person portrays their own limitations beliefs and securities to you with being like well you know be careful like think about this think about that maybe you should do this maybe you should do that and it's okay to listen to other people but sometimes it's more important to listen to you to yourself to your gut feeling and i you know if you are part of my my channel and you have been for a while fact is that you are very in tune with yourself you know i attract people who are very aware of themselves people who are psychic people who are mediums that is like a training thing that you're going to that's why you're here we all in this together people <laughs> so with that i will take the cards but just you know sometimes what i have learned from personal experience it's better not to say your ideas speak about your ideas to someone who you know would not understand it and sometimes it's okay just to have one person that you can go to i have one person that i know that i can go to with all my my crazy talk <laughs> my experiences and and she will never ever put a limit on me and it's so important for us to find that one person and if you're like, I don't think I have that person, attract that person. But also, don't be afraid to, to share if you find that person. But be aware who you share things with. Because we all have that friend or those friends who does like to betray fear from their own experiences when it comes to us talking about dreams and desires. So know that. But let's see the all in all energy. Besides this. Oh wow. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles and the, the, um, the Nine of Cups. Wow. So much fulfillment. You're really. You are this royalty. Right. You attract good luck. Nine of Cups is dreams coming true. Dreams coming true very very fast. I don't think everyone is going to get 
you at this time because so you are vibrating very high and i do feel that you have a lot of people around you who are not vibrating on the same level they are still close to you but they are just not getting you and that's okay that's life right we still learn a lot of things from them so it's not about eliminating them well it depends on you know like you spoke about yesterday if it's someone who is really nasty put boundaries up but the fact is that right now you are manifesting the shit out of your dreams and desires and with this line coming true there's so much royalty over you there's so much yeah like you just shine there's so much confidence there's so much bravery don't stop that please i feel that is also why the line is here because the line is like don't stop don't listen to the naysayers don't listen to the um the people who put limits on so what are you dealing with wow <laughs> ten of cups the happiest card you got it all coming full circle Today you're coming full. Co you're coming. You're coming full circle. <laughs> what is that? And it actually makes sense why you're being honored today. Okay, the last card for you here. <laughs> the hero friend, you are being honored today. I feel that you are actually fully stepping into a leader role, but you're guiding a lot of people. A teacher, so to say. You're mastering something yeah it and it makes sense why there is this like just be true to yourself yeah don't bury yourself under other people's projected belief system belief systems or insecurities because you are this person who can guide a lot of people people look up to you you attract the right people and here's the thing there's something happening especially when it comes to youtube so if you're a youtuber listen up there is a lot of people who are falling off the wagon falling off the car leaving your channel leaving it could also be insecurity it could also be instagram or facebook and you know why let me tell you it's because you're manifesting the right people and sometimes the glass needs to be half full before it becomes full full right there needs to be space for the right people to enter so the people who are not on your wavelength who are not vibrating as high as you do i saw a to eight with that they are just being moved out of your life it might also be physically that you feel like a lot of people are just leaving your life you unfollow people people unfollow you so don't let that get to you because it's actually a very beautiful thing because like we spoke about some days ago right there's so much support and love that is yours now and we don't want to have people in our surroundings in our energy that doesn't support us and it's also a human thing and it's okay to say goodbye to people who has been walking with you on your journey it's okay to say goodbye say goodbye to them now because fact is that you are uh here's the thing because i spoke with um a friend their friend uh some days ago about this like we always talk about like we are jumping into new chapters like new chapters new chapters but i actually think that this is not a new chapter this is a complete new book that also means that there's new things that you're learning but with that the old book with the old chapters are long gone. That means that there is a lot of belief systems, insecurities, people that you're letting go of because they don't belong in the new story. And it's okay. It is okay. Yeah. It's actually pretty badass. So I hope you guys could use this weekend reading, really reflect on this. Yeah. You'll be honored this weekend because again it's the weekend reading i just forgot that well it could be today but throughout the next three days i love this for you let me know if something happens and just bash it in again share your mind like you spoke about yesterday and with that i wish you all the best for this beautiful weekend manifest the shit out of it and i will talk to you guys on monday